hello friends in this video we are going to see the basic python code setup in visual studio code the prerequisites are python and visual studio code id i mentioned the download link here you can refer the link once the visual studio code is installed we should install the python instruction for writing the python code in ide once the python instruction is installed we can open the new file or we can open any existing python code once the python code is ready we can save that python code with the instruction .py then we can run that python code by choose the option run python file in terminal we can get this option by right clicking the file then also we can debug the file by using the key f5 and also we can stop over the line by using the function key f10 and f11 then we can exist the debugger by using the key shift f5 here i open that visual studio code ide here we can see the instruction here i already installed the python instruction then two more packages are add, added automatically it is dependent with the python we can get the python instruction by searching python then this is the instruction we have to install here i already installed it then we can open the new file Then write the basic Python code. Then we can save that file with the extension p y. then the code is ready then we can run the file by choose the option run python file in terminal by right clicking the file then in the terminal this command will execute automatically then then we can get the result also we can debug the file by choosing the option start debugging and we have we have to choose python file debug the currently active python file now i already put the uh, breakpoint in that first line you can put the breakpoint somewhere you can by using the clicking the here it stopped in the first line we can stop over by using the key f10 then it will move to the next line we can get the result for that first line then we can terminate that by using the key shift f5 yeah that's it the basic uh, setup for executing the python code in visual studio code thanks so bye see you in the next video